join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. If you're heading along the West Link motorway in Belfast, perhaps going to or coming from Dublin, you'll encounter the fairly imposing Balls on the Falls. And you can see these just up ahead now. As you can see they look very spectacular at night, all lit up. In fact, this large public artwork is actually called Rise. It was designed by Wolfgang Butrus and completed in 2011, but funnily enough, it's not the sculpture that was originally planned for this location. Originally, a competition had been run to find an artist and a project for the site. The competition was won by artist Ed Carpenter, but his project was scrapped after its proposed cost rose to the £600,000 mark. The artwork you see now was completed for £486,000. I think it's money well spent. Incidentally, the majority of the funding came from the Department for Social Development, 330,000 to be exact, with Arts Council contributing 100,000 and Belfast City Council picking up the remaining 56,000. Undoubtedly, some will argue that this is money that could be better spent elsewhere, but our environments need to stimulate us too, I think. Maybe you disagree? Let us know in the comments what you think about this. The sculpture is comprised of two geodesic spheres, one inside the other, and the largest being 30 metres high. Around this stands a number of angled steel uprights. The significance of the form is that the spheres represent the sun rising over the bog, and the uprights represent the bog's rushes. Why a bog, I hear you say, particularly in this urban setting? Well, the bog meadows are right beside this roundabout just between the M1 motorway and Milltown Cemetery. The sculpture is part of the celebration of the changing face of the city in more peaceful times. Indeed, it sits between the Nationalist Falls Road and the Loyalist section of the Donegal Road and Village. The nickname Balls on the Falls comes obviously from its close proximity to the infamous Falls Road. It's also sometimes called the Testies on the Westies and even the Westicles, this being southwest Belfast. I hope this has been interesting. Let me know what you think of this sculpture. Give the film a like, and it'd be great as always if you'd subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next Naked Ireland video.